All right, Senator Joe Lieberman, and, and you called him one of the losers in this health care reform battle right now. And because, I mean, originally he was going to clog up the whole works, and now he can't. You know, Dennis, I think what happened is that Joe Lieberman, in his heart of hearts, in his mind's eye, sees himself as a true independent, a true maverick, the Democrats' answer to John McCain. I think... Most other people in the Democratic Party view him so, as something that we can't say uh, on, a, on a family television program. <laughs> and I think all that he did here, he may have, he made himself a player for a short period of time. He effectively did kill the public option in the bill. But what he also did was ensure that for all those national Democrats who already had their eye on him, who were already looking at 2012, he just sort of poked the stick at them again. And I just think that you are going to see a huge amount of outside national attention on the Democratic side in 2012 if Senator Lieberman decides to run. And that's difficult in a state that is as solidly Democratic as this one is. Do you see him running in 2012? Yeah, or, I mean, the journalist in me hopes that he runs because <laughs> it would story. be an amazing yeah. race. I remember being up, uh, up in Connecticut. Uh, I look for any excuse to come up to, to my home state. I remember being up in 2006 during the Ned Lamont, Joe Lieberman primary. Just a fascinating, fascinating story story from a, a journalist perspective. You know, I don't know. I think that Joe Lieberman wants to prove to people in this state and nationally that he can run and win, that this message is a message that can win in a state, even a state like this one. He also thinks, in his mind's eye, he's the best person to represent the state in the Senate. That's a hard thing to walk away from. Let's talk about the governor's race. Governor Rell, extremely popular in the approval rating still. I mean, the, you know, Christelle would love to have those numbers and be able to say <laughs> he could retire. So, you know, here she is stepping down, and, you know, the race is wide open for the first time since, uh, I believe, 1974 or something like that. But anyway, um, what do you think of the Republicans' chances of, of holding on to this seat? They have two unknowns, Tom Foley, Lieutenant Governor Michael Fidelli, <coughs> excuse me, against a wide field of Democrats. You know, I, they have a chance. Uh, that said, I think in a state that is like Connecticut in terms of voting 61% for, for, for President Obama in, in 2008, I think it's unlikely that they both elect a Republican senator and another <coughs> Republican governor to go with Jody uh, Rell and, of course, John Rowland. Uh, so I think it's unlikely. I would have to say if you're on the Democratic side, you have to feel uh, better about it, whether you're Susan Bysowitz, whether you're Ned Lamont, whether you're uh, Dan Malone, who, in my mind, are the three sort of front yep. runners there? Uh, I think that any one of them is probably uh, a favorite against either of the two uh, Republican nominees. The one thing I would say is that um, uh, Tom Foley's personal wealth makes it uh, makes him potentially intriguing. That said, if he's running yep. against Ned Lamont, then you have two very wealthy candidates going against another. Uh, the winner of that, of course, is uh, uh, local television stations yep. who will get to run <laughs> many of their, uh, of their ads. But I have to say, just from a, a basic handicapping point of view, Democrats have to have the edge in the governor's race. Now, Ned Lamont, of course, is exploring a run for governor. Right. But you don't hear him talking too much about it. And we, we've invited him in this program to talk about it. He's turned us down right now. He's turned other reporters down. But then you see him on MSNBC jabbing Lieberman yeah. here and there. So, so do you think he still has his eye on that Senate ball? You know, it's interesting. Remember what animated Ned Lamont into this, into this Senate race yeah. was the war in Iraq. Yeah. Obviously, it's, that's a much less of a state issue than it is a federal issue. I think he's probably more interested in federal issues. But I think he also understands that in 2012, there, there is potentially going to be a line. Now, let me paint this domino scenario for you. Chris Dodd retires. Uh, Dick Blumenthal steps in. Well, then in 2012, that Democratic nomination yeah. against Joe Lieberman, whether he runs or not, starts to look more interesting. I think if those dominoes fall, you might see Ned Lamont wait. Of course, I also think uh, Chris Murphy, the, Senate, uh, state, the uh, congressman yeah, from the 5th District, is interested in the Senate, is seen as an up-and-comer, and he might want that in 2012 as well. Chris Elizabeth from The Washington Post, I want to thank you very much thank for uh, linking my blog to yours last week. <laughs> we had a lot of comments on former Chairman Ed Marcus calling for Senator Chris Dodd to retire, and uh, some uh, spicy comments from the Democrats on that one. So, Chris Eliza from Marlboro, thank you very much. Thank you for having and me. And Happy New Year.